Challenger from the MK Morse Company is a bandsaw blade used for cutting thin walled and structural material. Here are the steps we follow to produce this industry leading solution. Challenger is a bimetal blade, meaning the material for the teeth and the body of the blade are different. To combine them, they are run through a laser welding process designed to melt the two steels together. Every inch of our material is inspected using cameras and profile measurement systems to ensure its quality. After welding, we have to anneal the weld to soften it for machining. Once annealed, it is passed to the equivalent of two large rolling pins at very high speed to create a constant thickness. We then bring the material to our band mills where the tooth form is cut into the strips. We select the correct cutter to correspond with the tooth shape and spacing to match the product. After the teeth are formed, we add kerf to the blade. The strips are put through a setter which bends the teeth from side to side. Here is one side of the process showing how we add set to the blade. Again, all of our material is inspected to ensure the highest level of repeatability in our products. Once we create the kerf, we reharden the strip so it can cut steel. We run the coil through our hardening and tempering furnaces to achieve the proper hardness and microstructure. The strip comes out of the furnace red hot. After heat treatment, we blast and print our blades. They are then ready to be sent out as coils or welded into bands. When a weld to length band is ordered, we cut the coil to the correct length, wrap the band, and add the weld joint. Once the weld is ground flush, we cap the blade and box it to send out. To learn more, visit mkmorse.com. Don't forget to like and subscribe our channel for future episodes, and leave a comment to share the other processes you'd like to learn more about.